I have this Zigbee dongle with which I want to control Zigbee enabled devices using Home Assistant. So today we'll be looking at how we can actually control Zigbee devices such as this Zigbee switch using Home Assistant with this Zigbee Home Automation integration. Now the Zigbee Home Automation is a simpler method compared to the older Zigbee to MQTT mechanism and we will look at how we can do this end to end integration. Finally, we will look at how we can actually take a backup of the configuration for one controller and also migrate it to another controller if needed. So today we will explore this. So let's get started. So what I've done now is I have connected the Sonoff dongle to the Home Assistant OS. And now what we are going to do is we are going to now integrate it with Home Assistant. So for this, what you will have to do is go to devices and services. And then here we are going to say add integration. So here we are going to say ZHA that is Zigbee Home Automation. So this is a mechanism through which we will actually connect our Zigbee dongle that is a Sonoff dongle to Home Assistant. Click on next. And now we are going to have Zigbee Home Automation here. So now this will actually detect the Sonoff Zigbee 3 USB dongle here. We're going to select this and we're going to say submit. So once you reach here, you see these particular options and here you will have to select erase network settings and create new network. If you don't see this option, this may happen because I am using my Zigbee dongle actually, which I use for my home assistant. I'm reusing this to show you this particular setup. So I'm going to click on erase network settings and create new network. Now this will take a little bit of time for this to set up everything and then we will proceed next. So give it a few seconds and this will actually get set up. So now it has detected actually this Zigbee coordinator as well as it has detected one of my Zigbee devices. So ignore this one, but consider that this Zigbee coordinator, if it is set up well and good. So now after this, suppose you have a new device that you want to configure. You're going to go here and then we are going to say configure this. We're going to say add device. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to connect this particular device here. So I'm going to plug this in. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this particular device here. So I have connected this and I'm going to put it in the pairing mode. So I'm going to press and hold this device. And now if you see, it has gone into this pairing mode. It may take a little bit of time. And if you see in the setup here, this device is already found, it's interviewed and it's already configured also. So the initialization has completely been done. Now you can give this particular uh, device name. So I'm going to just call it as a Zigbee switch. And with this, I'm going to say done. So now if you see here, if I click on this, you can see this particular button and then with this button i can turn on and turn off the switch so that's how i have now configured a zigbee switch into my home assistant if i go back here and now look at the home assistant devices i have two devices here this is a switch that i now configured and here you have the controls now this device that i have has also a lot of support of even reading the energy that has been consumed. Now I am reusing this particular switch from my entire setup and this is an old consumption that is being shown here. If you have a new device, it will show you zero kilowatts here and then afterwards you can use it to measure this. Now stay tuned for this particular video wherein I will show you how to do this energy monitoring in my next video. So make sure you subscribe to this particular channel. Now with this, we saw how we can actually set up the Zigbee coordinator, that is our USB dongle from Sonoff into Home Assistant OS. Now the next part is how we can actually back up this particular devices in case you're trying to reuse your dongle from some other place, or you want to migrate certain configurations for this particular Zigbee coordinator to some different home assistant, or you just want to take a backup of the configuration. So if you want to know this part, skip to the next section. Right now, I'll be showing you how you can do this on the home assistant container. So now I have this home assistant container that I'm running on this particular IP. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the server and I'm going to connect my Zigbee dongle. 
So now I have done that already and now what we have to do is I went to the server connected to Zigbee dongle and this is the server which I've connected to using SSH. What I'm going to do here is first of all I'm going to find the USB on which that dongle is connected. So I have this particular script here called as findusb.sh. This will tell me the device location. So we will be using this dev slash tty acm0 wherein it's showing me that my Sonoff Zigbee 3.0 USB dongle is connected to it. Now this particular script I will add it to the article that I will link into the description below so that you can use this script to find out this particular location. Most of the time it is usually this but if it is not then you can use this particular script, copy the particular script from the article, make the file executable and then execute this particular file. So now what we are going to do is I'm going to open my docker compose file for home assistant and then I'm going to add this section here. So here I'm specifying that particular device location and this is the place I'm mounting it on. So under the devices section, this is the thing that I'll be putting in. So now with this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this config. I have already done this and I have restarted this home assistant also for me. So now actually this particular home assistant container has this device mounted and I'm going to go now to the setting section, go to devices and services. And now I'm going to add integrations. So now I'm going to say add Zigbee device. So it will say I need to set up Zigbee coordinator first. So I'm going to say proceed and here it has found that particular USB dongle. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to say submit. So now we are actually configuring this particular dongle. So the same thing I'm going to now erase the network settings and create a new network. So now a new Zigbee network is going to be set up using ZHA. So now we have some devices that it has found. I'm going to click on finish. So now I'm going to add this particular device, right? So I'm going to go to Zigbee home automation and then I'm going to say configure and then I'm going to say add device. Now this will actually configure this particular Zigbee device that I have put into the pairing mode. And now it has already configured this device for me. So now I'm going to give this a name that is a switch and that's it. So this is the way you have configured the Zigbee device on a home assistant container. Now let's consider the fact that you have an older coordinator and you want to migrate all the devices that are connected to this older coordinator to a newer coordinator. Now I don't have a old or a new coordinator. Let's consider that this dongle itself is my old one and I'm trying to migrate it to a new one, which is the same one in this case. So for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a backup of all this configured devices that I have. So for this, what we have to do is click on this download backup. Now this option is available in this Zig home automation and then configure and then click on download backup. So now this is going to download this particular configuration and we're going to save this particular file. So we're going to save this particular JSON. And then after that, let's consider that you are migrating the radio. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to click on this migrate. So this will stop my current ZHA setup. I'm going to click on continue and I'm now going to say migrate to a new radio. So now this will tell me that I'm going to try to migrate to a particular newer say a Zigbee coordinator or a Zigbee dongle or some kind of a new device that you are trying to migrate to. So I'm going to click on submit. And now what it is telling me is that I need to remove my old device. That is a Zigbee old dongle that I have. And now in this case, I'm actually just going to reuse my existing dongle. So I'm considering that I have old, removed my old radio and now I'm going to plug in my new one. So I'm going to click on submit considering the new device has been put in. I'm going to reconfigure now this Sonoff Zigbee 3.0 and I'm going to click on submit now. So now in this setup, what we're going to do, we're going to upload a manual backup. So I'm going to click here and now I'm going to select the Zigbee configuration that we just downloaded. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to say submit. Now all the configuration that we had on the older coordinator device are now actually migrated to the newer coordinator. So all of this setup is done. Now if you see here, if I go back and go to my devices, this switch which we configured before is present here. I can turn this thing on 
and then turn it off and it is still working. So this is how you can actually migrate your Zigbee devices from an older coordinator onto a new one. So we saw how we can actually do this Zigbee devices integration with Home Assistant using Zigbee Home Automation. Now if you want to buy this particular switch, there are links into the description below. And if you like this particular video, make sure to hit the like button below as well as hit the subscribe button for more such videos to come. Till then, take care and I will see you in my next one.